Hey guys, it's Kareem, K-Food Eats 757. So what's up, YouTubers? Uh, this is K-Food Eats 757. Hey, YouTube world, today's the day. This K-Food Eats, we're about to go try out some good food. This is K-Food Eats 757 stopping in. What's going on, YouTubers? K-Food Eats here. And this is Kareem, K-Food Eats 757 at the brunch house. So this is Kareem with another little segment of K-Food Eats 757. If you haven't already, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. And don't forget to go ahead and turn on those notifications right there and make sure you go up and hit that all notifications button so you don't miss any content that I post. You don't want to miss any of that. Thank you. Hey YouTubers, this is Kareem with another episode of KFoodie 757. At the moment, right now, today, at this very second, at this very second, I'm heading to another hidden gem in the 757 another hidden black owned uh, another black owned hidden gem in the 757 Ooh. like I've seen the pictures I've heard really good reviews about these places like I, I, I found them on Twitter I researched them on Yelp I looked at them on Google reviews I've looked at them on uh, Facebook nothing but i have had seen that one bad review on them uh as far as it is it is i'm i want to tell y'all but y'all gotta see for yourselves check me out minutes later and we are here so 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 we are here we are in the pop place Ghent area of Norfolk right on 35th Street it's a pretty pretty historic area for the most part and so and we are here at the what is that hold on wait a minute the Cutter's Kitchen right here and down uh, right, right here in the heart of Norfolk the little hidden gem you know uh, down in, uh, down in 757 not, uh, not everybody knows about it but the people that do know about it, they rave about their food when you walk in there, look, we're going to find out how good food is. You know how we do. And I have enlisted a little bit of help today. And hopefully one day, uh, these videos, are currently right now, I am looking for sponsors. Um, hopefully this video one day uh, will be uh, sponsored by God is Dope. Hopefully. It's a clothing line down in Atlanta. They have really good concept. They have really, have really good concept, really good clothes. I love the material and everything like that. So. Yeah, the birds are chirping. Uh, yeah, look, I'm hungry too. Yep, I know. Okay, so we're here at Cutter's Kitchen. I got enlisted. My mama and her fiance. They come here and we're gonna try some of this food, all right?
of this kitchen, as you see, like it's really decorative in here. Really, really, really decorative in here. I really love how everything is, how they are. Like the feeling when you get in here, like it, it feels black. It feels black. I, I, I love it. I love it. Like we are in the heart of Broadway. Like it's a, where we are is like a really high density of black, of the black community. Like within the within the seven cities. So like I'm loving this right now. So we got a few people in here already. We got a few people in here already. We're gonna try out the food. Um, the menu and stuff looks great. I'm gonna show y'all that in just a second. Okay, so I was trying to wait and everything here and make sure that my mom, my mom just as hungry as I am. That's why I get it from, you know. So that's why I get my appetite from. So, but, so now, like, she already started ordering her food. But I'm going to wait. So I'm going to let her go and order her food and everything because I invite her out. But it's not this and everything. Uh, we're gonna say, we're going to go ahead and uh, go about. Uh, let me show y'all, like, the magnificent of this food, how good this food tastes and everything from what I've been hearing, like, I haven't had this yet, it's my first time here, I'm hungry, I went for a friend this morning, let me show y'all how black my house is, how black it is, how black it is, black it is, black 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 it is, you feel me? that's not too bad, Special and everything like that. They have, like I, like I showed you, they have like daily specials. Um, Mon uh, Sunday through uh, Sunday through Saturday, they're closed on Monday. They're closed on Monday though, but uh, Sunday through Saturday, they have like different specials and everything. And it, it looks so far like with uh, everything they're doing, with everything they're doing here, they're doing some, they're doing something great out here. They can get big. This is going to be a really big thing, so we're plan I'm planning on actually coming here a lot longer. I'm going to come here a lot. So, what it looks like, I might end up getting the... It's between the icy cakes, the cutter skillet, and the shrimp and grits. But they got a little bit more up here, too. But, like, the main attraction is, like, they got the... I got the onions, the cutters classics. Oh yeah, yeah. And then they also have a vegan. All, all y'all that's vegetarian, the vegans out here, uh, this is the this is the spot. This is the spot to come to. I'm telling you, that look. They got they got they got jack food. You know, jack food cake and everything, just like crab cakes, but they make it like out of jack food. That's true. That's true. It's lit. It's lit. So we here at Cutter's Kitchen. I'm trying to order. I know I got somebody behind me too, but um, <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and get like the. So what would you recommend? The one thing, the one thing that no one else, that no one else has anywhere else that's on any that's on the menu that you would recommend. I don't know, between the shrimp and grits and the shrimp and grits and the salmon cakes? Uh, so the, it's called icy cakes. Icy cakes? Okay. okay you like, so the icy cakes and uh, is, is it possible to get like a small order of the shrimp and grits? Mm -hmm. You can get the extra side. Right, uh, how, how much is that? Uh, how much is it? Yeah. Just a dollar extra. Uh, okay, oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get the shrimp and grits as a side. Well, how do you want your eggs? Uh, scrambled cheese. Appreciate it. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Oh, those jackfruit cakes look good. Uh, those jackfruit crab cakes oh, look I good. Oh, I forgot about the jackfruit cakes, too. Yeah. And they're good. They're really good. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get that, too. Instead of the salmon cake? <laughs> huh? Instead of the salmon cakes? Oh, I'm gonna just get down the side. Just so, like a side order? Yeah, side, uh, side order of that. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. 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 Ye
We got confirmation. <laughs> we got confirmation that the jar cakes are good. <laughs> we got confirmation, so it's lit. So salmon cakes, caramel with cheese, and then your side, your side is shrimp and grits, and then you want a jackfruit cake on the side. Mm -hmm. Anything to drink? Uh, All right. Our special drinks. Look, y'all, y'all, doing the thing out here, man. <laughs> y'all doing the thing out here. With a blue mirror, the blue mirror. Yeah. Okay, um, can I get the blueberry? I'm gonna take that recommendation and get the blueberry mint tea. The, my blueberry mint lemonade. Uh, okay. I mean, that strawberry basil lemonade looks kind of good too. Right. And the tropical punch. Yeah, with the clay. That's why you're trying to get, I got to get the pin. I got to get one of the They all do and they back here bumping all the good music. <laughs> back here bumping all the good music. Yeah. All right, so we're here. We, like I showed y'all, I showed y'all the menu and everything. Now we're just waiting on the food and everything. So, like from everything I'm seeing, and it wasn't even that. Was, like the food is pretty inexpensive. Like I mean, for like the, for the amount of food that you get, it's pretty inexpensive. But, like I'm, I'm loving that. Me personally, like I don't like spending that much money. I don't like spending that much money. But, but, these videos get a little expensive. I do admit, but like. The price right here was the I love food. I love like I love supporting black owned restaurants and things like that. So uh -huh. it's like oh it's like a thing. God. It's like a thing, I guess. I don't know. Like I'll pay for I'll pay the food. I'll pay the money for really, really good experiences or really good food and stuff like that, you know. So but right now I'm just gonna wait for the food. But I'll check back in with y'all when I when, uh, when things ready. <laughs> oh my gracious. Look. So what so what is this you got with shrimp and grits? Look, oh. look. So y'all know I just got my plate, man. I'm loving this. What has the extra that? What has the extra that? Yes, ma'am. Let me show y'all this, y'all. I'm drooling. I'm drooling. I'm drooling. Oh wow. Oh my. Look, look let's let's make, let's show this in 4 4K. Let's show this in 4K. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay. You got it. Ooh. If you guys need anything else, just let us know, okay? Definitely. Oh my gosh, yes. And this right here is the jackfruit cake. The jackfruit cat crab cake. Um, this right here is a salmon cake with the uh, scramb with the scrambled eggs with their shrimp and grits. Oh my gosh, it looks so good! And they give me a garlic. Uh, they give us a garlic aioli with the uh, blue bit with the blueberry uh, basil. Well, not blueberry basil. Blueberry mint lemonade. So. So let's get to this. We about to crush. I ordered an omelet with spinach and all that, and then oh French gosh. toast in the dip. Got the French. Oh, the French toast looks good. Mm -hmm. That French toast looks real good. Got a nice little, nice charm. Nice size. Salmon cakes and eggs. Got the shrimp and grits. Got the salmon cakes. Got the mm -hmm. eggs. I just had to show that real quick. I got my mom and her fiance with me to come uh, on this little adventure today. And you know what we do in Cape Booty East, South by South. You know how we handle this, know what we do. Hi, Edie. Y'all come out here. Y'all y'all leave it um, leave in the comments. Y'all come out here. Y'all ready. Y'all eat it yourself. Look, so we about to crush. We about to try this out. Support uh, We out here supporting this black business today. You already know. But the setup, though, I'm loving it. I'm loving every last bit of it. So. Sure, let's go. We 
these eggs are like, oh yeah, they're not like, they're not even hard either, they're like, just the right, you know, like, some eggs are like kind of soft, some eggs are just kind of really, really too soft, but they're like too mushy kind of sort of, but other eggs are just like, they're, they're a little bit too hard, you know, but these are like with the right consistency, so like when you stick your pork in it, you can, when you stick your pork in it, it does like, it's like, oh, let's see, hold on, wait a minute, Oh, I almost forgot. I gotta think of the food. If I can see, concentrate, make all the bells and juice name, I pray. Amen. Let's eat. Oh. You see some milk in your mouth eggs. Milk in your mouth scrambled eggs, yo. What the hell? Scrambled eggs on point, yo. Could be kind of hungry, but and a little bit of weight we had to do though. But yo, I'm loving this. All right. Slap your knee and call it. Oh my gosh. That's like a burst. Like the moment you take a bite into this, it's a burst of flavor. Every last bit of it. They captured all of the juices that you that they made with it inside of it. It's super moist. It's like not at all dry. Not in the least bit dry. Got a nice crispy texture on the outside of that. I'm loving it. Nice crispy texture on the outside. On the inside, cooked thoroughly, very moist. I'm loving it. Ooh. Yo, these salmon cakes. Oh my, these salmon cakes right here. Hey y'all, it's Karee with K4DE757. Um, I just a little side, and then this is days after, this is on uh, Tuesday. Uh, after the Saturday that we uh, went to Cutter's Kitchen with that delicious food, you know. Um, yeah, so pretty much, let's get, get you get straight to the point. Um, Apple is having some issues. <laughs> Apple is having some issues. I do all this uh, recording from my phone. Um, try to do the best I can with like getting the different apps. It's literally in nothing you can't do on an iPhone. So, does anyone else already know? Uh, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of professionals actually use iPhones to actually record. Is is I've seen that they use different uh, different media kits uh, or different. Um, different lens kits and everything on the on it uh like you've seen in my previous videos um 
and that's why some of my videos do look so good it's because i use the different kits but so with uh this la with the last couple of videos uh as you as i said in the previous video for episode two um apple has been having issues my app that I've, my apps that i've been using have been having issues uh where it's been dumping it, it's been dumping some of my um some parts of my videos here so um this is part two of <laughs> of explaining uh part two of explaining uh fortunately so now um i'm sorry to uh, i have to apologize i I have to apologize and I'm sorry to cut his kitchen um, for some uh, for what's going on with my phone, um, what's going on with my camera and everything, and the apps that I'm using and everything. It makes it it definitely makes it, uh, the experience not be as worth it. Uh, but I definitely will make another appearance. Um, I definitely will make another appearance to give a better, better, better overview of your uh, establishment. It, like trust me, it was great. So I'm gonna try to like um, explain it the best way that I can right now. Uh, try to keep it short too. So I'm gonna try to explain to you the best way possible post video um, without actually tasting it. I know it's not what I normally do. I know it's not what I normally do. And like, I know that when I know, when I do my videos, I'm gonna taste it. And I, I know I taste it, and so you uh, taste it during, so you can get the same, so you can get a like accurate description of the food um, from when you know when you're going in there and and seeing right. So, hi right, guys. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit short and sweet so everybody can get the full extent of these flavors oh my gosh so um the shipping grits are a definite 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 must like the flavors the shrimp you got the spinach you got the cream you got the um peppers in it oh my gracious it was amazing on a scale of one to ten i got to got to got to get that out oh yes lord yes lord that's a must uh the um the jackfruit crab cake that's something that um was a little bit different to me uh i didn't uh as far as the as far as the te the texture and everything like you have uh like you would not even be able to tell that much that it's um you would not be able to tell that much from how it look uh, from how it take like how how it uh, how it feels uh, like the texture of the, the texture of the fruit you wouldn't even be able to tell that uh, as is, is, is a lot is way different than what i was used to but um i've had jackfruit in different forms and like i've had jackfruit is a is, it's like a tangy but um it's a tangy but it was still good it was like a tangy taste but it was still good it was savory and tangy um but i loved it every uh, every bit of, i love every bit of it um it like I say, it wasn't really necessarily uh, exactly what I was used to. So I would say that was about an eight. I'll give it a eight on a scale of one to ten. Yo, now the blueberry lemonade, I can definitely say that was something that I was like, yo, like I was I was loving that. That was delicious. Like y'all should really should just really just go ahead and pack the truck and sell that. If y'all made so it this is Kareem yeah. with, uh, with K47 by 7 We are out. We are leaving. I have the items and everything, man. I'm look. That was so. That was so good. Look, I'm here out here with the owner, Cutter. Yes. Out right here. So look, <laughs> I had a great time. I I enjoyed every single bit of everything I had here. See, it's my place, but people still friendly. <laughs> <laughs> But um, <laughs> I had a great time out here, and I love every bit of that. I love what you're doing. I Thank already you. know that you already know that you're gonna like blow up. Like I, I see you. that. I see that. So, <laughs> I see that in the workings. I see that in the making. Like you're gonna need a bigger place, really, really, really soon. We're just gonna get second location. I'm not gonna give up the first one. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, that's in the plans. Look, I'll see. All right. I mean, so talk to people. Tell them. Tell them what you want to know. What them know about Cutter's Kitchen. Um. Cutter's Kitchen, we serve breakfast and brunch all day, and we also have events on the side. Um, we offer catering, uh, everything's made to order, everything's fresh, um, nothing's pre-made before you get here. 
Um, Nothing's pre-made. Look, she makes it from scratch, from the heart. So sometimes you might have a longer wait, but we are working on that to build a team to get you like right. the, the thing about me is when I go places, if they, if you making it from scratch from when I from the one I order <laughs> to uh, to my plate, I'm a wait. <laughs> I'm a wait. <laughs> it's worth the wait. Believe me, it is. It's worth the wait. So um, come it's, check me out. Yeah, it's like going to Big Mama's house and she putting her foot in the food. <laughs> <laughs> it's black owned and woman owned. Mm. Yup. So you heard it from here. You heard it from the horse's mouth. You know what's going on, like. Yo, come down here to Cutter's Kitchen on 35th Street, uh, 515, uh, 515 35th Street in Norfolk, Virginia, in the Park Place area, Park Place Gant area of Norfolk. You already know it. This case for the East. Out. Peace. What a fool that we hungry.